Hey everybody, this is your old friend John DeLuna. You're listening to Soundwave 44. The big 44, the big 44. Um, we are officially middle-aged and uh, soon we're going to be right in the middle of our uh, uh, our crisis, our mid-age crisis, buying Corvettes and toupees and trying to suck in our stomach when pretty girls walk by, all that stuff. So look forward to that. Um, with me this week, uh, the best of the best, um, Peter. Is that, a, is that a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie? No, uh, but it is a, I believe it is a pretty sweet movie though. It was. What was the Capoeira movie? That I used to watch like at 2 p.m. on HBO. You remember that? It was a movie about like mis- <laughs> misfit kids in Miami and they find, uh, they get reformed through capoeira. That's pretty somebody, awesome. Somebody, that, yeah, somebody out there knows that. That sounds like that an room. amazing movie. It's a bunch of latchkey kids and like their after school program happens to be capoeira classes. Anyway, okay, where was I? Uh, Peter, AKK, Dweebum, Rob Springer. Brian Kilby and Amy. Yep. How's everybody doing? <sighs> Do you have what to ask? Up? Do you really <laughs> want to know? That good, eh? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. that good. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, uh, the, the timing's perfect because New Soundwave will lift your spirits. It's lady. lifting mine already. Oh, I hope so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, and, hey, nothing lifts our spirits like like hot on the heels of StarCraft II and its 12-year hiatus. Duke Nukem. <laughs> Looks like it's going to actually happen next year. Hello, finally. Um, oh, did does not, any, okay, did, so. Did we not cover this last Does anybody week? still care? Yeah, I do. Sort of. Yeah. Sort of. So not in theory. So, what's going to happen theory. when we finally get this game and we install the game and we push start and a Rickroll starts? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> who installs <laughs> games nowadays? I do. PC people. I try. No, on my 360, <laughs> it's faster. Don't you have to? Uh, don't you have to install some games on PS3? I've heard you don't have to. I don't think, it but you have the like option to. Some some of them oh, are required. Okay. I know that. Yeah. yeah. By the time you update the software, like you know the the two hour process, is, your night is well. over. <laughs> yeah, you may as well have downloaded it. And yes, it's the next day. Yeah. Um. Okay, so anyway, Duke Nukem, uh, hot on the heels of uh, StarCraft II, like I said, finally coming out. Basically, it's coming out because everybody who worked on it originally is gonzo. It, dead. And, yeah, dead. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, and poorly. they all died of natural causes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and in 2011, it's going to come out for everything, the 360, the P- PS3, PC. It, it, it is coming out for the PC. That's been confirmed. I mean... It, it, it has to, yes. but I, to me, but I, I only saw like the 360 and PS3 reference. So that, that's what that's what the gearbox is saying. It'll good, come out. Good, 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 good. Yeah. They've yeah, already yeah. accepted it's not an MMO. Why bother? I mean, I I, I don't know if I'll, if I'll buy it, but I'll certainly you know have interest in it. it. Yeah, yeah, you'll box. support it somehow. You support its existence. We all support its release. Bravo, finally. <laughs> um, moving on. Uh, hey, more about the Connect uh, Xbox 360. Uh, the bundle has been announced. That's not really a shocker, but hey, it's announced. Um, launching on November 4th. Um, you get a 360, obviously, with 250 gig. Um, Wi-Fi, the Connect sensor, Connect Adventures, and it's about 400 bucks. So that's not bad, considering the Connect is 150 by itself. Um, is anybody here on the show seriously going to consider getting a Connect? If not, buy it. I, no, I, I would like to have one. I, I I'll admit I would like to have one. Really? Yeah. No. yeah I mean, it looks so fun-ish. Hmm. It looks like oh, that's what the Wii was supposed to do, but. Hmm. Didn't. No, this is what Microsoft thought of when they thought they should copy what the Wii is doing. No, it it does it it does way more than the Wii. It's 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 really what the Wii should have been. But Nintendo wanted to make a two hundred dollar console, you know, four four years ago instead of a, God, I guess a two thousand dollar console. It would have been ridiculously expensive to <laughs> the R and D in this uh, has to be pretty immense. Microsoft, I, I don't see how Microsoft makes money with all the R and D that they do, and then. It goes to vaporware, but um, they don't. It takes them forever to make they, anything. Yeah, that's why they're stagnant. 
their write off their department that does all the writing off is worth every penny. <laughs> no kidding. But no, no I mean the connect the connect um looks pretty brilliant. Uh it's exactly what the Wii should have been, but you know, it's it it is not a uh, hundred and fifty dollar piece of hardware, you know, all inclusive. You still have to have the console. So um, I don't know that it'll sell, but it's intriguing yeah. as all heck. It's just it's it was just not it was just not the niche that Nintendo was trying to go for when they launched the Wii. No, I think they're smart. I th- the Kinect seems like something that, like, if one of your friends has one, then n- everybody will come visit them and hang out and play f- play it for a while, and then everybody will go home. And then there's like no ex- desire to get one. It's and exactly it, like the Wii, then. Yeah, I I yeah, feel like I, I don't know. I just don't. I don't. I mean, it's great. I mean, it's a cool idea. It's a great idea and stuff like that and motion c- control. It, it's definitely um, instead of PlayStation doing basically what the Wii did with controllers, the Microsoft took a different approach, and that's definitely commendable. But I don't, I don't find it intriguing at all. Hmm. Maybe because I'm, maybe I'm old. I, I don't know. Stay there. I think what's going to hurt this as well as the uh, PlayStation 3 uh, most motion gaming system is the fact that it's after the fact. I mean, the Xbox 360 came out in 05, and five years later they're coming out with this. It's, you know, a lot of times when it's not <clears throat> out of the package when you brought, buy, buy a brand new right off the bat, it doesn't always take off. And I think that's going to hurt this. Not to mention, how this is a car payment to play this game system. That's not, that's, you got buy. I, I don't see that being a big deal. Mm, to I a mean, hardcore gamer, probably not. Well, I mean, hard, I don't think I don't know the hardcore. Or, or you know what I mean? Somebody this. who's somebody who's like an early adopter. I mean, and, and into this. I kind mean, of this, stuff. this cons this this console uh, life cycle, this generation. Uh, there's no talks right now of a PS4 or a Xbox 720 or whatever the heck it's going to be called. <laughs> Uh, none. I mean, so it's it's not all. It's not about you know the iteration of the the the, the hardware. It's about the iter- it's about the iteration. Uh, uh, hey, hey. Yeah. How's it going? I can't hear you. He's like, hey, I can't XP. hear you. All right. Hey, XP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so wrong. It, it, it's about what they can milk out of out of the current generation, and it, it, that's true. it's brilliant. Um, that's true. That's an interesting observation too. Maybe that's a discussion and, and, for another show. And it's not like it's not like it's after the sorry. It's not like it's after the fact. Um, it's not like the the connect is after the fact. Oh well, we did the motion control. You know, uh, no, might as well stop. No, I mean, it, 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 the, the Wii let the genie out of the bottle. Uh, you know, motion controls, for good or for bad, are here to stay. They may not be the primary input of games, but they'll, it'll always be an option, and this is the next uh, evolution of that. And um, just by just by looks, it's superior in just about every way to the Wii, except for price. Mm. And no Power Glove references. I love the Power Glove. Me too. It's so rad. <laughs> I saw that movie too. Lucas, <laughs> Lucas is, the, is 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 a douchebag That's hero so of mine. Why haven't they ma- remade that movie in some form? Because, Jimmy Woods. They, they might. Some, somebody somewhere they, has they sense. have to. They have to. So it's gonna be mad if They'll Justin remake it eventually. I'm giving them another two years. They've remade everything else. Why not? That's true. <laughs> Although after Scott Pilgrim's performance, good luck getting funded for that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, yeah. One final thing on the movie. Kinect. It was a game movie before, like all of these other ones. They might make an exception. Uh, that's a good argument, I uh, guess. I don't know if he wants to see Justin Bieber playing a <laughs> kid, though. <laughs> but Justin Bieber is going to play himself, so he may as well play somebody else. Yeah. You know, I think. What, what else is Fred Savage doing? He could he could reprise his role <laughs> in Combat. Oh yeah, uh, he's, well, he's a forty year old. <laughs> He's busy awesome. producing uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> producing? Imagine How can you be busy Savage producing anything? Dad. Imagine Uh-oh. Fred Savage paying the dad, chasing down the uh, bounty hunter and like beating his truck up with a shovel and stuff. You know, I think I'm just going to have to go out and rent that movie again. I need to re- reminisce. Yeah, it's free. <laughs> just go rent it. I'm sure it's like four bucks at Walmart. Four? You're <laughs> overestimating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to buy it. Though. That's the, the dollar thing. bin. It's been in the clearance bin for the past 10 years. <laughs> I'll check out. Nobody will buy this. It's like, 
Are these VHS cassettes? Really? <laughs> I actually, I, I was do you actually. Make those anymore? Yeah, I do. Uh, I actually have a VCR to my right. Uh, I was actually uh -huh. uh, on uh, Amazon's waiting list for the for that to come out on DVD. So it's not actually been out for ten years. It's not been out that long. <laughs> when did it come out? Like the last few years? Uh, oh six or something like that. I can find out. It's not a big deal. Way to go. Yeah. Way to go, wizard. <laughs> Uh, one last note on the uh, Connect. Uh, Game Informer did a quick uh, survey, quick and dirty survey, with about a thousand readers, and more people are looking. Two thousand six. Sorry, go ahead. Two thousand six. Yeah. Fantastic. See, that's 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 the kind of research you get when you listen to Soundwave. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the survey showed surprise, surprise, shock and awe, that uh, more people are looking forward to the 3DS than either the Connect or Move. Um, Thank you, Captain Obvious. But but mm -hmm. but it's good to know that you know. Hey, once again, the 3DS is uh, or the three or the DS specifically is, is the kind of product line that's like a runaway train. People just have not gotten tired of it yet. It's oh, it's, it's no iPod amazing. Touch. No yes, iPod no, Touch. Steve. No, Steve. It's not. <laughs> um, right. Okay. So uh, you got. Oh, were you gonna say something, Peter? Nope. All oh, right, then. Uh, okay, uh, moving on. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. We're starting to hear about that, so if this is, if this is your kind of thing, um, we've got some, some stuff to tell you about. Uh, bots are back. Uh, combat training allows you to play either yourself or with friends. Um, and uh, there is a star, among other things, there's a star-studded cast of voice actors led by Ed Harris and Gary Oldman. What? What are they doing wow. in, in a game yeah, like I don't, this? They, they, whoa. They got Kiefer Sutherland to do a voice in uh, World at War. That's, that's cool. so mm. weird. That is so weird. Did it and sound does, like Kiefer Sutherland? Yes. I was like, that's Kiefer Sutherland. And he does Bank of America Bauer. commercials. So. It was, I mean, it was Jack Bauer just in, <laughs> <laughs> just in World War II time. Game. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather nice. be Donald Sutherland. <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome. He is too. the best Sutherland. He is. He played Jesus. <laughs> he was the best Jesus ever. <laughs> How many people can put that on their uh, resume? Resume? Yeah. Seriously, he, he was the best Jesus in any movie ever. So go out Was and Jim look. Caviezel not a good Jesus? Uh, Donald Sutherland, Don, he was a better Jesus. It was, just go back, go and watch Johnny Got His Gun. Just watch the first 20 minutes. and <laughs> All right. Best thing ever. Come back. Come back to the show. We'll, we'll still be here. Yeah. Uh, hey, StarCraft uh, 2 is locking people out. So if that sound you hear is JD crying. Um, because you know, he's been locked uh, out. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a there's a bug, but it's going to be fixed. Um, but yes, uh, StarCraft Two's been locking out oh, some so people. It's, it's not, not a policy change. Yeah. It's a, uh, yeah it's a bug. So it's not JD like, you know. Beating no, the crap. JD, JD, don't pull the trigger. Uh, oh, come oh, come oh, down oh, from the oh. Oh. Down from the roof. Oh my! This. Oh wow! <laughs> it's um the bug. Unfortunately, is called the Blizzard wants more of your money bug. We fixed it, but you're about to send us another fifty four dollars and fourteen dollars a month to play your StarCraft two. Yeah. Uh, the character back. Okay. Give us at least a grand. <laughs> oh, That's for every letter of your name. Nice. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Um. Let's see. What's uh. What else is new in the gaming world? Uh. Hey. Resident Evil 6. This is either a good good news or bad news. So Resident Evil, Resident Evil 5 was a tremendous hit, uh, especially in the Deep South, if you know what I mean. Oh, God. And, that is not uh, true. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I, I'm giving them a we heard time. the sarcasm. Yeah. The, the Deep South hated it, actually. Um, okay, so anyway. That's not true either. Uh, <laughs> the, the Deep South found it uh, a solid hit. Uh, Gave it a solid well, well, B plus. <laughs> yes, yes, they hey, gave it two thumbs in the middle. Brian, give us an accurate idea of how the South felt about it then. I, I don't think it was actually on the radar. <laughs> <laughs> it passed them by. Well, yeah. they, well, they better, well, they better perk up because Res Resident Evil Six is hot around the corner. Um, so, like I said, this either good news or bad news um, because. People at Capcom have said basically this game is going to happen. Quote, as so it's going to hit the market. Quote, as soon as possible, and so take that as kind of a rush job, maybe at worst and at best, just a high priority on their list. 
But uh, we're going to get Resident Evil 6 sooner than later. Uh, and actually, you know, I was thinking about Resident Evil for some reason last week. Just Why? kind of wishing for some kind of reboot. Because just like the movie series, which is uh, kind of terrible. Oh, God. Um, at this point, Resident Evil 6, I mean, we're like so far removed from the original concept. Can we just like, you know, reset and do a do-over at this point? Anyway. Uh, um, I think Resident Evil 6 is going to take place in China and uh, take place in Beijing and Shanghai. And you will be shooting people who mysteriously were hit by a plague and turned yellow. So. Oh. 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 Man, we are working blue tonight, folks. <laughs> I can say that. Okay, you, you uh, can say that. Yeah. Shouldn't yeah, it well. be off-campus evil at this point? It should. Or should it be Resident <laughs> Evil the, the college years? Or yet, or the college still, years. Still have, still have graduated evil. Yeah. That's right. Um, okay. Speaking of uh, oldies but goodies, Mortal Kombat. Some more Mortal, Mortal Kombat news. Um, not about the uh, the reboots. Speaking of reboots, uh, this is more evidence that we're going to get an HD version of the first three games. And the rumor is, this is a pretty crazy rumor, that not only, it's going to be HD, and not only HD, but it's going to be completely refilmed, digitized sprites so with new actors. So, in essence, a new game, basically. Just new wow. games. MK1, 2, and 3. It, it, would, it would be like the uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo um, yeah, basically. HD remix for the 360 where they ha went and redrew <sighs> all of the sprites. Uh, I think I, I it did not take long to produce um, Mortal Kombat 1. I, it, it, was, it was done in some ridiculously compressed amount of time. I don't think it would take too long to do this since most of the programming's done. It would just they would just be going in and just given my rudimentary understanding, they would be going in and uh, basically just replacing sprites. They're not changing any of the physics or anything. So, no, uh, no, people would riot if they did. It, it kind oh, yeah, of the, the, the gameplay is just so tweaked and refined. <laughs> it's that, so tight, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's like a fine-tuned piano. Street Fighter, yeah. th I mean, uh, Mortal Kombat 3 is such a total flaming piece of crap. I, I If they did it with 1 and 2, I, I would actually you know, kind of like that, but 3 is just awful yeah and it's high res enough as it is it doesn't look that bad even today i'd rather them do just the trilogy version and beef that up i don't like it i don't like mk trilogy it, hmm. it just uh because they're they're basically mixing their games that it, it's not balanced at all and uh yeah i i never i never cared much for that but i do i, I do like playing as goro <laughs> i got two Tell moves let's bring it yeah <laughs> get ready um well yes it's very interesting the, the weird thing is one thing on mortal kombat the weird thing is they sure reference ed boon by they i mean ed boon he sure references mortal kombat 3 as being of equal nostalgic value as the first two which i think is kind of crazy like yeah. looking back i don't think anybody is completely nostalgic for mortal kombat 3 but he sure thinks so Mortal Kombat um, 3 was a nice way of saying, and it's over. Yeah. <laughs> and we're out of ideas. And we need more money. Who's this? And oh. play Tekken. Yeah. By that point, definitely. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see here. One, one more story before we get to our topic uh, for the night. Goldeneye. A couple things on Goldeneye. Uh, if you pre-order Goldeneye, by the way, pre-orders these days can be pretty awesome. Here's evidence of it. Uh, the Goldeneye pre-order for uh, Walmart, I believe, uh, will get you a shirt that uh, says "Cheater" and has a hat on it. Wow! Yeah, yeah. the that's odd right. job. Yeah, that's the right. Job yes, the hat. odd job hat. It's awesome. It's, it's amazing. So, I I normally hat. don't pre-order games, but I may have to do that just for that shirt. There is no possible way I could silk screen that myself. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, fine, uh, Kilby. Insult my intelligence. Sorry. I wonder how right. thin that T-shirt is going go to be. Cafe price. Yeah, that's going to be like. Don't wear this shirt out on a rainy day. Yeah, your nipples will be yeah. showing. <laughs> and that's before right. it gets between right. Aja, yeah. right? Yeah, with uh, Aja's hat right in the middle. <laughs> He's looking at you. Uh, and then in the uh, sour grapes department, the original Goldeneye, the original Goldeneye developer has 
bashed Activism, uh, Activision over the remake. Um, because, I mean, shock, they like making money. They're going to remake your game, dude. Sorry. Anyway, so he's not happy about, uh, I, I suppose, being left out. Yeah, it's a strange yeah. thing for Activision to do. It is. It's kind of a random callback, but these days we're so remake happy. I mean, yeah. EA, EA okay. already tried to do this. They didn't actually remake the game. They just re reused the name. Yeah, GoldenEye 2, wasn't it? Or something like that. And it, yeah. it, it was just as bad as this is going to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But wasn't the original developer Rare? Yeah, it was Rare. Yep. Yeah. So it's like money grabbing. Didn't you guys hop to Xbox? Well, I mean, they got bought out by Xbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Rare has nothing to do with this. I got you. Yeah, uh, does Rare even exist anymore? Yeah, absolutely. In yeah, name, uh, they, they just said that they just said that uh, Cameo Elements of Power sucked, and yeah. they should have scrapped the game. <laughs> well, they brought it uh, out yeah. for N sixty four. Is that smart to say that? I don't know. It's going to come out on GameCube. Then it's going to come out on Xbox. Then it came out on the three sixty, and nobody bought it. I got it for four bucks, brand new. I have never ever played it. Was it worth it? Apparently, it sucks. It's, it's not terrible, but it's just like. Of all that <laughs> development time, come on, really? What what yeah. did it go to? Also, you got it for four dollars. Yeah, it. You're like, okay, it took this long to make it. This many systems. I don't see why. Have we ever gotten that kind of uh, confirmation on Daikatana? It's like, yeah, you waited for this, and it it sucked. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's like, hey, John Romero. Uh, I don't think you just made me your bitch. I think. Um, <laughs> I think you're a big. You know, you're actually the worst thing about Doom, John Romero, and you just proved it with this game. <laughs> uh, you know, that may be an interesting homework project for me. I may try to look up the list of games. This will be hard. This will be kind of hard to find, but the list of games that have gotten apologies from developers. Um, <laughs> it can't be that long, but I bet it's probably a pretty good list where they came back at some point and said, yeah... Not We're so great. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Not so <laughs> We're great. We're sorry, um, and here's our official apology for this. We will right. make it that's better. Right. We will. We will. Yeah. <clears throat> the only way you can make it better rage. is to give me my money back. But that's not happening. Did you, did you say I, primal rage, Rob? And I'll tell you why. Yes. Not because of the game itself, but because the various version 1.2s that they put on the arcade where the move set was different. Yeah. Yes. That's why I expect that. Dude, um, I'm really good at this game, but I went to the 7-Eleven down the street, and I couldn't play it any longer. Why is that, Atari? Why? Well, we thought, it'd be, you thought wrong. <laughs> you didn't even put the change um, to sign up or something. You couldn't say new move edition. No, no. Yeah, it wasn't signed at all, was it? No, it's just like random. Will this one be the one I can actually play? Interesting. I don't yeah. know that I've ever played uh, Primal Rage I kinda, too. I kind of liked Primal Rage. I honest. liked Primal Rage, yeah. Yeah. I liked it, it as long bad. as I could pull off a move. Uh, you know what else I liked, I guess just as like a guilty pleasure, because it was fairly unplayable, was uh, Time Killers. Ah. Yeah. So did you get Did you get one of those... Uh... Oh, wait, no, I, I'm not thinking... Uh, Time Killers actually came out. I was thinking what? of uh, Thrill Kill. Oh, Ta yeah. Time no. Killers was a branch off from the people that left Rare after Goldeneye. Wow, uh, how about Free that? Radical. Yeah, Time Killers, I believe, was made by Free Radical, which was a like a branch off group of the um, You're who thinking left. Time Splitters. Oh Time Splitters, damn it. Oh okay. I was like in like man, Time Killers was on Sega. Yeah, did anyone did anyone actually get a copy of Thrill Kill? One of the <sighs> early one of the uh, late betas of it? It's apparently supposed to be easy to get, or at least everywhere. I I got it like back in '98, before when the game after the game was killed, and uh, uh -huh. it it's not that great. So, <laughs> <laughs> was it uh, just like a bunch of, like one shocking thing after another that just kind of got old, or what? Well, you can only do so much shocking crap on the PS One because it had that muddy, muddy, muddy yeah. look. So, you know, now those games, uh, now most PS One games are nigh unplayable because of the way they look. And, yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine what like Toshinden feels like now. Oh god, should probably go back, give it a whirl. Uh, you know Try what's to... funny though? Like something like Toshinden or the first Twisted Metal really looks bad. But I was just playing uh, the original Doom the other day, and pixelated enough, it was still a lot more visually enjoyable than say Toshinden. I you... guess it's got to do with sprites. Are you playing that on Facebook? 
Yes, I am. How does that work? Exactly. It's like a flash, uh, <laughs> flash version of Doom, where they basically yeah. took the uh, game and made it work on Flash, and that's it. It plays almost exactly the same. Just the uh, you can't map your button, so you're stuck with their setup, and that's it. So is this is it doing this, or is someone else? It's someone else because after they put it out, uh, what free reign or free domain or whatever for the source code. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, and the guy basically just made a Flash version of it, and then some other guy took the Flash version and made a Facebook version of it. Wow. Huh. I remember it playing is... that on a Virgin American airplane. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> Although there was no turn button, <laughs> so I was just strafing all over <laughs> the place. Nice. It didn't work very well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. All right, so for our topic this week, uh, stay with me, folks. This has a little bit of lead in. Um, So uh, last week, actually, I heard a pretty good discussion on Madden 11 uh, on a sports podcast. And there were three hosts who were not gamers. And then their guest, who was talking about Madden, was definitely a gamer. And Roughly of our our own generation, um, he was in his uh, he was in his thirties, probably about thirty. And the three hosts that were not gamers were older. In fact, um, probably a little too old to be considered part of our generation. They're probably in their early forties. They're Xers. Say. Yeah, they're Xers. Solid Xers. Yeah, this, this guy, like I said, the the reviewer was right around our age. So. Towards the end of the interview, the host asked him uh, why are quote, quote unquote, adults still playing this game and asking him directly, the 30 year old, why hasn't he gone on to quote, grown up things? Like mowing the yard, boy. So, so that to me brings up the question and, and the reviewer to his credit had kind of the same response. His response, and I agree with it, was, well, Video games to his generation, and certainly everyone after that, video games are not considered an, an, an adult thing or a kid thing. They are what they are. They're games. And hence why nobody has really grown out of them if they, if they choose not to. Nobody grows out of video games. They stay with video games. So my question to the group is, is you know, why have we specifically kept with video games? Is it that... For, is that is that the case for us? Do we not? Do you guys not see video games as kind of a childhood thing? Do you just see it as a form of entertainment that happened to be born basically while we were growing up? I mean, how do you guys view video games? Yeah, it's when, an it's an interactive entertainment platform. Or platform. I mean, it's it's not generational. It's not uh, geared toward youth or older people. It's it, it like you say, it is what it is. Yeah, what that guy should think about is without video games, there would be no Farmville. Yes. <laughs> so he would not be able to waste all of his time when he's not on the radio, and not farm. I, I mean, video games are absolutely not a childish thing or an adult thing, right? And grow, grow, gone on to do grown-up things. What exactly is that? It's sitting around and playing bridge and gossiping. Yeah, hey, right, he's got a job a that's bill. grown up. His job is to play video games. That's his job. That's his income. That's what he does to support his family, right? That's a grown up thing, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. It is interesting to think how video games have evolved during our, I guess, growth. Or like, like as we've as our generation, say, people who are roughly thirty. Yeah, I mean, if my only grown up video mm-hmm. games have really evolved into something far beyond. I mean, they're evolving and they're growing as as it happens that our specific generation yeah. is too. So it is interesting. I mean, if my only uh, you know experience with games was like Fester's Quest or something like that, sure, I would think it was a juvenile pastime, but it's not the case. You know, no, it's not the case. The irony of this whole situation is, okay, you said there's a sports podcast, right? These uh, older guys in their late 40s was asking the guy in his 30s, when's he going to grow up and stop playing with them video games? Hey, you're on a podcast. <laughs> I, I, don't get, I don't get what you're saying, Rob. I, I'm saying they're, they're, they're criticizing him for playing video games, saying he needs to grow up. And it's like, you're talk- criticizing him for using an older media form than what you're currently on. You know, they're... 
the podcast. This is what the dorks talk about comics with or whatever, and they're like a sports podcast. This is a dorky thing. Hey, you're doing something dorky, you dork on our dorky thing. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, dork. I don't necessarily agree with that. I mean, uh, oh. working working in radio, we, we have podcasts where people have no idea that they're being podcasted. Hmm. I mean, it's we, we have we we take uh, terrestrial radio, and then you know s- certain content we you know migrate it to podcast format. Yeah, there, 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 there's real value yeah. in podcasting. It's not. It's not just Absolutely. you know losers like me sitting around recording stuff. <laughs> like, I like Transformers. I'll talk about Transformers today. No, it's. <laughs> it, I mean, th- there's re- there's real world value in in, in podcasting. And yeah, that, uh, welcome to Battlestar Galactica forum. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's how I keep up with uh, morning shows from my hometown. Yeah, I mean, like all my all, yeah. all the news I I get into it comes from podcasts. Virtually every yeah. all all the news. Well, now the second part of this irony is, if they're on a sports podcast, how much of a sports podcast goes toward fantasy football? <laughs> yeah, that's We're a very like, adult uh, that's, that's not gaming. No, yeah. it's not gaming at all. No, that's totally different. Uh, that's like real football, buddy. So, some people have made a distinction, like a really good uh, 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 comparison is that, uh, at, like you know, doing RPGs or MMO RPGs are basically the same thing as fantasy sports without the sports part. Like, Just remember, every time someone criticizes you for being a huge dork, ask them how many of their local teams' memorabilia they have around their house. <laughs> right, and how many stats they remember exactly. from the specific team player. Oh, yeah. he made three hundred yards. He, he ran three hundred yards last year. How do you remember this? Back in '95, he did this. How do you remember this stuff? Yeah. <laughs> well, we were ha- we have fond memories of playing. Uh, well, some of us. I can't speak for everyone. Donkey Kong <laughs> at Showbiz Pizza when we were like four. Absolutely. And, exactly. Absolutely. I mean, these guys at their age. Uh, video games came out when they were what teenagers, early twenties, and it was pff, pong. You know, something. And they didn't really. Every time they came back, it was like, oh, this Space Invaders thing sure is popular. Whatever, and then the Nintendo comes out, you know, Atari, past the Atari, Atari's really extension of the Pong stuff. Nintendo comes out, and what's Nintendo aimed at? Kids, basically, with the Mario cartoons and everything. And then people our age just like, well, dude, the older I get, the more mature these things get. What are you yeah. talking about? I wonder if they have the yeah, same... Yeah, uh, they're really following, they're tracking along with us. I wonder if they have yeah. the same opinion of, say, pinball. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Nice, nice. Do they still make? Is pinball still a big deal? No. That's kind of an aside. No, no. Uh, really. it's not. Some a big people deal. still collect pinball. <laughs> well, well, it's just it's kind of morphed into like a classic car collector type thing. Yes, they're um so. they're doing a sports podcast. They spend a lot. You know, they spend time at the sports bar, sports bar watching the football game on Sunday. You know, they play that little video game thing on the bar doing like Sakodin or whatever. Yeah, or what about uh, a? Uh, that's okay. Or something like that. Well, have you ever outgrown uh, Clue? No. Exactly. You know, board games. Yeah, what's what's board games now? Mario Party. Or uh, Uh, or Carnival Party. Or something like that. Yeah, yeah, Carnival Games. We Carnival. (laughs) Hmm. Party Mm, games. Good times. Good times. Um, I gave the five year old bike eye. Whoops. I think we've established that uh, these guys are officially wrong, and, and they're old. We are, and they're stinky doo doo heads. They should grow yes, up. Yes, yes, they're officially grumpy old men. So, <laughs> fully on you, Walter Matthau out themselves. Yes, uh, yeah, he speaks to. A, we're going to have a séance and get his, <laughs> uh, his official well, opinion. On this, can I jump I in real quick and say agree. something real quick? Sure. Oh, I was going to say, because I I've not been much of a gamer myself until recently, and I. I'm I'm jumping on just to play games, just to connect with other fans that are fans of the same stuff that I'm with, and you know I I off and on throughout my life I've I've played games, but I haven't been like a hardcore gamer. I'm just more like you know I'll just play it just to have fun and all that. And now it's it's for me it's also to to get to know what it's like to be online and to play games like that because I realize I have two little boys, and boys are usually more attracted to competition and game things like that. And so I'm like, well, I better make myself informed. So that's why I, I that's why I I kind of justify it a little bit. But yeah, I'm really having fun because I I'm connecting with people that I get to talk with and and who you know hear me on podcasts and whatever. 
and you know it just seems like to me that anybody that's going to say that when you grow up you know you know when are you going to give up these kid things is somebody that's just not informed or not on the day they don't understand that that going and playing a video game is just like for some people going and picking up a book it's their opportunity to go and just escape from life and go do something and and to you know yeah there's an entertainment value but that's the whole point is that it's just it's it's an it's their way of going and finding some sort of entertainment that for them is productive, and so I you know anybody that's going to knock somebody for you know playing kids games or whatever even if they're thirty or forty or whatever age that they are, you know they just are terribly misinformed, <laughs> and it shows. I mean hey here we are on a on a geeky podcast which is cool. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> and is bashing cool? somebody for not getting you know is it cool? Is, in fact. Yeah. I'm going to let this Amy have the yeah. last word. Nobody Aww. can say it better than that. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Uh, well, so anyway, yeah. next week, next week we promise, um, I, I guess, less, less, a less defensive topic. But uh, <laughs> we just kind of wanted to you know, lay it out there that, yes, video games are for everyone. So come on, y'all. We've had uh, two defensive controller. topics so far. <laughs> um, well, and it's yes. good because, hey, it, it, it's, it's almost it, uh, games, video games have about the same kind of um, satisfaction or, or emotional um, uh, reaction to people as like petting a dog. Because when you pet a dog, you get instant gratification. Their dog, the, the tail wags. So immediately you know that you're doing something the dog likes. Well, when you sit down and you play a game and you do something and you get rewarded for it, hey, there's your instant gratification. You know, it makes you feel good. Oh, I got something. Who doesn't feel good about going, oh, because I, I jumped on this game and I whacked this person with a sword, I got 20 points, you know, that type of thing. So, yeah. I want 20 points. <laughs> I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go, I'm going to go outside and whack some guy with a sword. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit different, yeah. I'm gonna do no, it no, no, if you go and you you know shoot the shoot the target, you get this, or you or you get in the car and you drive really fast and you make a you know go around this corner and you pass somebody, you get this much money. If, you know you get you get scores, you get you get to score points when you do something, you know, and and you know life is not usually like that. You know, it's something that you can entertain yourself with going. Man, okay. why not? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go hit a guy Where's with the a dog. Easy button, right? <laughs> <laughs> and see if the dog wags its tail. Exactly. Um, okay. Well, <laughs> like I said, your dog because you won't get points for that. <laughs> oh. Like I said, um, hey, points Sorry. for Amy and that little uh, that little speech. Qu uh, quite the end of the, our show. Nobody could say she, it better. Um, she wins today's game. Today <laughs> she wins. Uh, in in the to paraphrase 2007, a winner is you. How about that? Yes. Thank you. Um, Thanks. So, I have just I've just given you a good reason to justify your gameplay. <laughs> you sure you sure have, and everybody, she's a mom, so she knows, right? Yes. Choosy she, moms uh, choose Jeff. Yes, yes. <laughs> she's, she's, a, she's actually, our show's official. Is there any mom. truth to that? Do you choose Jeff? Jeff? I I unfortunately <laughs> do Jeff. not Jeff. choose Jeff. I I Jeff. in our household we have gone completely organic. <laughs> Is there organic peanut butter? Yes. There is organic yes. peanut butter. It's the one that you have to like stir hardcore because all the oil is so Actually, yeah, no, actually the the kind that I get does not separate as much as you as you think and it's really not that hard to 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 stir. Yeah. So here's wow. the ironic part. You can go buy the organic peanut butter at Whole Foods for like 5 bucks or you can get government <laughs> peanut butter for free and it's the same thing. <laughs> I like the way you think, Rob. Yeah, just ash. <laughs> you just got to open a can, or in one you got a jar. Hmm. Yeah, you got what was the government food you got like a month ago or something like that? Somebody did. Oh, the government pizza. My brother yes. got it. <laughs> government <laughs> pizza. Government. That's right. Pizza. It came in a giant white thing, like um, fishing bait does or whatever, and it was like full of just <laughs> cheese pizzas that you microwave. Oh. It was really good though. <laughs> Like, like a Dharma pizza? Uh, he just has that too. Dharma beer. Nice. He's just Dharma like, hey, beer. I got some uh, pizza. Oh, where the hell did you get this thing? <laughs> He's just like, it was given to me. Oh, boy. It's some of your girlfriend's crazy government food, isn't it? I found it under the bed, and I just added water. Oh. I... <laughs> nice. It was nice. pretty good government pizza. 
Okay, well, on that note, um, that is New Soundway for this week. Um, <laughs> hey, if, if you're feeling down, if you want to turn that frown upside down, Play go video. buy t- go buy a video game, or if you want a cheaper alternative, a free alternative, go to tfradio.net and select from our fine case fresh selection of podcasts. Um, we have RFC. <laughs> The mother of all podcasts. We have New Soundwave, which you're listening to right now. Cool. Kind of freaky. Uh, yeah. Superhero Time, which is the awesome Sentai show. Lots of spandex, lots of XV. Not <laughs> a lot of XV in spandex, thank you. Not yet. Um, not, not a lot Game of Boy um, Versus, which is our arguably uh, our, our best podcast, if you ask around here. It's got quite a cult following. If you ask McFeely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, you know, hey. <laughs> He's somebody. Um, Outside the Cage, our MMA boxing wrestling podcast. And RFC Throwback, made with real geeks, real cane sugar. Um, it's just as fattening as you remember. Um, please, like I say, stop by tfradio.net. Look around, download twice, listen once if you please. And uh, for New Soundwave, I am John DeLuna. We will see you next week. <laughs>